Hello and welcome back. This is my second video on, on concentrations of, of solutions. And I'm going to give one more example on parts per million and parts per billion. And then we're going to look at a, another unit of concentration called molarity. Uh, so let's look at this question. A sample of water is contaminated with 200 parts per million of lead. What is the mass of lead that would be found in two liters of water? And so uh, how, what mass of lead is in, in two liters of this solution? Okay, so here we're given a, a concentration and we're given a volume and we're asked to figure out the mass of the solute. Okay. And so we know uh, from the previous video that one part per million is equal to one milligram of sol solute per one liter of solution. So it would follow that 200 parts per million is 200 milligrams of solute per one liter of solution. So we can use this as a conversion factor and we can start our calculation with this volume of solution, two liters. And we can say, well, two liters, and then we can uh, put in our conversion factor here such that the liters unit will cancel out, and that's going to leave us units of milligrams. And then we just uh, do the math here. Two times 200 is 400. And so we would have 400 milligrams of, of lead ion. And when, when we say lead, we're, we're saying lead ion. We're not saying like lead metal in its elemental state we're talking about ionic lead um, um yeah so there you go all right let's go on okay so what is molarity okay so molarity is yet another concentration it's a concentration chemists like to use um, because it's really useful in in chemical reactions because if you remember chemical reactions we like to ha have them be balanced we like to have balanced stoichiometry and um, a moles allows us kind of to kind of uh, take advantage of that if you have like a reaction that's one to like w w the coefficients are one and two uh, of the reactants going to form two and three of, of, of the products uh, if those are the coefficients, you could say that one mole of reactant A reacts with two moles of reactant B to make um, whatever I said, two moles of product A and three moles of product D or something like that. It's good for, for chemical reactions. We'll just leave it at that. Okay, but what molarity is, means, and it, we use a big M to signify it, it's moles of solute divided by liters of solution. So we're still having solute in the numerator and um, a volume of solution in the denominator, only it's it's moles per liter this time instead of say uh, grams per liter or something like that, okay? Um, oftentimes uh, we'll put something in brackets to indicate that it's a concentration of, so in this case, the concentration of NaCl is 1.0 molar and that means uh, 1.0 moles per one liter of solution okay um, and also uh, if it's got one mole of sodium chloride it's going to have one mole of Na plus ions and one molar concentration of Cl minus ions okay or, or one molar concentration of sodium plus ions, which would be one mole of sodium ions per liter of solution. I think I might have misspoke a little earlier there. Okay. Um, all right, so how could we make a one molar sodium chloride solution? Um, so we would use a volumetric flask, and this is a flask um, that is able to um, measure out very precise volumes of liquid, okay? Um, and so the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out, well, how many grams, because we don't, we can't weigh out moles on the balance, we, we weigh out a mass in grams usually. So we can use the molecular weight of sodium chloride to 
convert from moles to grams. So the molecular weight or the molar mass of sodium chloride is there is 58.5 grams of sodium chloride per one mole of sodium chloride. Okay. Uh, now important when you're making the solution, uh, you're not going to start with one liter of water and then add the sodium chloride because then your total volume is going to be more than one liter. Okay. Uh, so you start with um, the mass of your sodium chloride. Okay. So you add one mole of sodium chloride to an empty flask, you fill it with water, and then you swirl it, and that's so you can completely dissolve the sodium chloride. And then you're going to continue adding water until you get it to a total volume of, of, of one liter or a thousand milliliters. And then you stop it and mix it well. Okay, so that's how you would make a, a solution of a certain molarity. All right, and that's going to conclude um, our video lectures on, on concentration. Thanks for watching.